Good morning, welcome back to the shop. It's Monday, March 27th, 2023, and here's another RV10 construction update. Um, getting quite a ways on the uh, window installations. I've got all of them glued in now with Sikaflex, and uh, pretty much uh, I'm getting real close to finishing the fairing around the windscreen. Um, all I'm doing at this point is around the bottom edge. Um, not entirely sure what I'm going to do up here yet around the top, but I think what I'll do is, is mask this off. That black that you see is the primer from the Sikaflex, and then underneath of that, of course, is the actual Sikaflex. Then this, there's a little ridge back here you probably can't see real well, but that's Sikaflex there that's exposed. What I'm planning to do is mask this off and then scuff the outside of the windshield here and then paint that and I'll either paint it white or black. I'm not sure yet what the majority of the airplane is going to be white with colored trim stripes on it. So I want to try to probably want to paint that to uh, to cover that or protect that uh, Sikaflex underneath. Um, what I've got here and uh, for reference I use the Vans videos on their website on, the, on YouTube. They've got a really good series where they create this fairing on an RV14 canopy. Um, it's it's really useful. It works really well, and because I'd never done anything like this on my six, I didn't uh, have a real good idea how this was going to go. But it works out really good. This right here is two layers of black electrical tape, and then when you're actually doing it, you'll end up putting a third layer of blue scotch tape over the top of that. Then you pull that almost immediately after you get done with your fiberglass layup. That keeps this black tape clean so that when you're sanding down the fiberglass that you can tell real easily when you start to to hit the uh, black tape. Um, you can do it down here on the bottom too and you can see here where some of that tape is still on there. There's a piece right there. Um, so I'm pretty much done with the fiberglass layups and there's quite a few layers. I refer to that video of Vans uh, for all the detail on how that works and now what I'm doing here is a body filler to uh, fill in the weave where it, it just shows up and uh, I'll start sanding this down today and uh, we'll see how that looks. Uh, I'm trying to get this thing ready to paint. Um, I think I'm going to decide to uh, keep it here and try to hang the engine and do the cowling and uh, spinner before I take it to the airport. We'll see how, uh, how that goes if I change my mind on that. And I uh, don't know what else to show you. All the uh, windows on the doors and on the, the rear seats there are done. And uh, here's some of the detail on the uh, layup that I did. They cover this in the Vans videos, but there's a template uh, to mark or to, to help you cut out the layers of glass. So you can kind of see here the last bits that I did where I, I cut out a piece that I put on there using that template. Um, I also use lots of smaller narrower strips to help build up and establish the four inch radius that I was going for. Um, I like to use playing cards as squeegees a lot of times those work pretty good and they're really disposable. Um, I've got a real heavy piece of, uh, I forget what this stuff's called, it's countertop stuff. That works really good for a mixing board. Um, that's about it, that's where I'm at. And uh, we'll see you next time.